Okay, first you need to type the name list in your Excel sheet. <clears throat> you can change the name to whatever you want. For example, you can see uh, the list I use in the image below. Okay, after typing the name list and you have the name list in your Excel sheet, now you can save it in uh, your file in XLSM format. It's uh, an Excel with, with macro function because we'll be using VBA for uh, our next steps. Move on to our image. You need to save your image, the images you want to load later in the user form into the same folder of your Excel workbook. So it should have it should be on the same folder. Make sure you save the image and the uh, files, the Excel files in the same folder. One more thing about the image files you have to give uh, the image file uh, the exact name the exact name as uh, the same name as the list you have uh, make sure you have the exact text in the uh, image name and the name list because we will uh, use it to call uh, the image file into user form later Okay, now you can activate Visual Basic window by pressing ALT plus uh, with F11 or you can uh, <clears throat> press the button in under the developer ribbon or tab. Then in, then in the Visual Basic window, you can insert new user form. Now after uh, you can after you insert the user form next you can click on the combo box control and place it inside the user form This uh, combo box will be used as a, a trigger to load image on the image control in the user form Now you can add image control to user form as a, an image placeholder or frame. Now you can click on the combo box and look for row source field in the properties window. You can find the properties window in the lower left of uh, our visual basic window. You can start to type in our name list range and for the example our list is on range B4 to B8. So we should type that range into the row source field. Still on the combo box, now you can click double click combo box and at that will bring you to Phoebe code window. Type this code below uh, so your code will be uh, as follow. Now that's it. Now you can run the user form and you will have a simple and it user form which can load images according to its related name in the combo box. You can try and experiment other uh, trigger like command button to replace a uh, combo box control and you can uh, use <coughs> the similar code to load image to user form. Okay, bye for now. Uh, see you again in the next tutorial.